Good evening. Welcome home to Mailer's Landing. I'm getting ready to put some dinner together and I'm thinking about roasting a chicken. So come on along with me. Let's get dinner started. My roast chicken recipe is cobbled together like most of my recipes are um, from a few sources. I am 100% certain that Martha Stewart was involved in this someplace along the line. I'm pretty sure Jonathan Waxman was also involved in this someplace along the line. Um, but this is what we do for roast chicken and I'll put the recipe and the method down in the description for you below. I'm gonna start by melting some butter uh, which is to say this is not a kosher meal, but you can make it kosher, totally easy. Just sub out margarine or oil for the butter. We just need a good fat. We are going to cook this at 400 degrees. So I've got the oven preheating to 400 as we speak. All right, let's get the chicken prepped. We have our washed and dried chicken straight out of the sink. I know, I know, I know, Julia Child says, don't wash your chicken, don't wash your chicken. But when it comes out of the baggie from the store, I, y'all, I need to wash my chicken. I just, I wash my chicken, I pat it dry. <laughs> okay, I have the chicken resting on the neck to elevate this end of the bird. And we're gonna brush it all over with our butter. Get in all the cracks there. And of course, if you're using oil or margarine, you'll be brushing that all over the chicken too. Do an inside the wing as well, just the whole bird. Don't forget the wing tips. We want those nice and crisp. Okay. okay, at this point, I'm going to get into the rosemary here. Um, soon we'll be able to get rosemary straight out of the garden. I'm just gonna use this fold it up under the side of the chicken so it elevates that wing and drumstick just a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna put half a lemon in. With the, the skin side facing that way and the fruit that way, I'm going to put the rest of the rosemary right in here and I'm going to close it up with the other half of our lemon. Now this has provided a little bit of integrity for our chicken's shape which is exactly what we want here and then we're going to get some special stuff on top of this. We have filled the chicken cavity with lemon and rosemary, and then we've got a couple more things that we're gonna add. We're gonna put on some grinds of black pepper, but we're also gonna put this stuff in. This is a one to two mixture of cornstarch and kosher salt. That'll give us a nice crispy skin on top of our chicken when we roast it.
100% sure there is a better way to get that cornstarch salt mix onto the chicken. I haven't figured it out yet though. So if you've got a great idea for me, please leave it down in the comments. I would love to know, because this thing with the spoon, It's just really uneven, <laughs> um, which is also to say, don't be afraid to spread that stuff out with your fingers afterwards if you need to. Just pro tip, don't spread it out with the spoon as you do it, because um, if you do, you're gonna wind up with butter on your spoon. So yeah, let me know if you've got a good way to do this. Our sweet potatoes are scrubbed, pierced, and wrapped in foil. Our chicken is dressed and dusted and ready to go in. The oven is at 400. Ain't nothing left to do now except pop her in and let her go. I'm gonna put the sweet potatoes in at the same time as the chicken, but I'm probably gonna pull them about 10, 15 minutes before the chicken is done. Um, they're kind of skinny, so I think they'll be done by then. Chicken takes about an hour at 400 degrees. I'm gonna put everything in the oven on the middle rack. Let's get it in the oven. Just getting out here for a few minutes while the chicken's cooking. Come take a look at what's going on in the garden. I'm so happy about this. Look at this echinacea. This is such a big deal. I bought these plants for like a dollar last year. They were on the clearance rack and um, half dead. And I just brought them home. I was like, I don't know, maybe they'll reseed. Maybe I can love it back to life. And look at this, so pretty. So many blooms. And this one, this one's almost as tall as me, which I realize is not very tall for a human, but for a flower, it's pretty tall. The herb patch is coming along nice. Most of it has recovered from that bolt. Oh my goodness, bronze fennel, just look at you. That one is definitely as tall as me, if not a little bit taller. Oh, first chamomile. Look at these beautiful peas getting ready to ripen. Some of them are almost there. Oh, oh, look, 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 look. It's our first sunflower. It's our first sunflower blooming. So the cabbage looper decoys are working. You have got to see the snap of cabbage, the regrowth. I'm gobsmacked. She's looking so good. Come look. You remember how scruffy these things were? Look at them now. We may yet get Napa cabbage out of this. Get all this beautiful new growth and it's healthy and it's not chowed on. Oh, speedy. Other, let's get this moth back where other moths can see it. Look at these potatoes. Hello, tiny potato flowers. Look at that. Oh, how pretty. I love this part of the season when everything is just starting to bloom. Mm, the real showstopper right now is definitely this borage. Just in love with it. I've never grown borage before, so this is totally brand new for me. Look at this, so pretty. Ah, oh, these just opened this morning. I just found out today that these are an edible flower. Um, when a friend of mine said to me, oh, you were drinking that this weekend. Um, and she was referring to some tea that she made me. So I think I may be, um, when more of these are open, I think I may take some of these to dehydrate and uh, make some tea of my own.
I've never grown flowers in with like the veggie garden. So this is, it feels so luxurious. Zinnias are getting ready. Oh, I'm looking forward to these babies. These marigolds, I think these are Linnaeus burning embers from Baker Creek. Oh, look, here's some marigolds that are blooming already. And these are those same ones with these nice long necks on them. So vibrant. Camera doesn't even do it justice. Oh, so pretty. And there's a whole bunch more coming in. These little marigolds coming in over here in between the tomatoes. Look at those pretty things. Oh, oh look at these. All the beans are starting to flower. Oh, 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 oh. What's that? All right. Green beans are officially coming in. Oh my word. Do you know what I see? Do you know what I see? I see a tomatillo that has already set fruit. Oh my gosh, come look. Will you look at that? Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh my goodness. First tomato. More tomatoes, yay. I can't tell you how happy I am. These tomatoes, huh. Okay, so this is, this was a big year for me as far as sowing tomatoes. I started all my seeds on my own. I tried some varieties that I haven't tried before. And then it rained so hard and we got blight. It looks like everything's coming along really, really well since we treated it with the peroxide. Um, I'm looking around me and there are so many tomatoes coming in. There's so many tomatoes coming in. I can't wait. I'm so looking forward to a nice caprese salad or a tomato sandwich. OMG, it's time to start breaking rye bread again. Ah, just love it. So we are, we are coming together, y'all. We're coming together. Oh, that's the alarm. That's my chicken. Let's go get that chicken out of the oven. We are out of the oven. We're at 169, which is great because we wanted that to be at 165. And the thigh. The thighs are very warm. So this chicken is ready. Our chicken is out of the oven. We're gonna give it a 15 minute rest and I'm gonna open some cans of green beans to go with this. And then we'll have dinner. tender, which means it comes right apart. the skin. <laughs> so Bill's gonna carve up that bird for us. Meanwhile I've got some green beans warming up on the stove and some gravy with it too. We've got some sweet potatoes and we are gonna sit down and eat this business. Thanks for hanging out with me today in the kitchen and a little bit in the garden while everything was cooking. Catch you up soon. Take care.
because I know somebody is going to ask. <laughs> this is not chicken from us. We bought them at the store. We only have laying birds <laughs> and Zuzu. Um, but yeah, these are not our birds. These are not, we don't raise meat birds. 